Who's your goat MMA? The greatest all time MMA. Um, I, I, I got into the sport four years ago because of Conor McGregor. I'm not saying he's the goat. Yeah. I'm just saying mm. that he got me into the sport. I unfortunately missed, and I've seen it now through Fight Pass and stuff, but I missed a yeah. lot of uh, GSP. Um, in fact, I think the only fight I saw was his Bisping fight. His big fight uh, that was live anyway. I've, as I said, I've watched the other ones. But as far as the GOAT is concerned, I mean, I have a lot of goat fights, like things like um, the Holly Holm and Misha Tate fight, where he, where Holly Holm choked Misha. No, sorry, where Misha choked Misha Tate choked out Holly Holm in the last round. That was insane. Yep. That was um, insane. As far as a fuck, you've really put me on the spot here, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, I mean, I assume like being a more recent fan, I'm about six years, so I'm not some fucking, you know, old veteran or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I'd assume someone like Max Holloway before he got beaten or Khabib Nurmagomedov or even uh, DC could be considered a goat in my opinion. Well, I mean, there's um, Anderson Silva as well. I mean, we saw the, not so much the end of him, but the, 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 the downward spiral, well, not downward spiral, but just the downwards uh trajectory of his career um adesanya looks amazing uh he could be something really really special i mean who knows what's going to happen there um you know but also in saying that when he beat rob whittaker rob fought a very different fight to what he normally fights and you know i think rob will come back bigger and better um volkanovsky that that rob that rob fight was um oh i was just going to say that rob fight like i'm look I'm some fucking fuck with the big nose on the internet. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I just was so surprised that he was standing at kickboxing range and engaging like that. And again, like I, I'm some fuck with on the internet, so whatever, but that's, that's Adesanya's game. Like I was, I thought we were going to see a lot of like dirty boxing, clinch, rest, try to take down, come back out. And yep. so, I mean, cause I'm a huge Whitaker fan. Like he was one of my, he's, you know, one of my favorite fighters still is one of my favorite fighters. I love, he represents what MMA is all about. Um, I was just so surprised that he, I just think that he, again, it's easy to say this, but maybe he got too caught up in it. Maybe he really just wanted that knockout. Um, and I just was like, I couldn't, I could understand if he was standing at boxing range with Adesanya. It's still pretty dangerous because he's a fucking great striker. But yeah, I was, I was really surprised at the way he approached that fight. So I, I agree with you in the sense that this is, no, that's no knock on Rob. That's saying that I really do think the rematch would go much differently. Hmm. Um, and I do think he can come back from this. And you're not the first person to suggest that either. A lot of people have said that. Even my coach, my, my MMA coach, uh, Paul Daniel, he's uh, obviously, he, you know, to be a coach, you have to be very invested in the sport, but he's been around it since he was six years old sort of thing. You know, he loves uh, the sport of mixed martial arts and every martial arts surrounding it. And he said the exact same thing. He said, man, he led that fight like he was angry. Mm. You know, he, he yeah. fought it like he was angry, which is not Rob's... Uh, well, what, as you said, what the fuck do I know? But it's not Rob's game, sort of thing. Yeah, um, it's so hard. Like it's so hard to, you know, it's feel like I feel like at the start of every episode of everything, you need to say like, I'm wi- hey, I'm willing to have my mind changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm willing to have my mind changed. I'm not going to the fucking grave with this. Like it's just an opinion. I'm probably totally wrong. You know what I mean? At the start of every fucking yeah. episode, you just have like a list of shit so that people understand. Like, guys, I'm not dying on this hill. Like it's just I'm just chatting. Well, that's what I can always fall back on because of stand-up. I can say, hey, I'm a comedian. I was just joking, man. It's all good, you know. But, <laughs> but yeah, you signed it on a legal document. <laughs> yeah. as, far as, as far as a goat is concerned, that is a hard answer. I, man, I love McGregor. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. If you follow the support, you love McGregor. I just like who he is. I like that whole thing. That's, that's my sort of... Um, How much did the pub punch hurt you? How much did that... Because I was the same. And that, for me, took like... I could cop the Khabib thing. Um, I could cop all the other stuff. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, I, I'm still a huge fan. I was still really nervous when he came back to fight Cerrone. And, and I, I, again, I'm still a huge fan, but he wasn't, he was no longer, he was no longer the Conor McGregor that I knew. And, he, and I don't think he could ever be that again. Because like, for me personally, I don't care how far south you go. I understand fame gets us to us all. I understand... Like, trust me, I've like obviously not been in his shoes, but with footy, even when I was young, I be, I could be a dickhead sometimes because I was so, you know, it gets to your head. It, it, I yeah. get all that. 
But to go so far south to punch an old guy, I don't care if he said, fuck, mate, I fucking fingered your missus out the back. I don't care what he said. To punch an old dude, like that for me, I was like, mate, fuck me. Like, it is. And, and it, it does say something about how blind I am with, um, with love and admiration, if you will, because I looked at that and I was just like, didn't see it. Didn't see it. What punch? What are you talking <laughs> what about? <laughs> but you know, you know, the thing is, don't get me wrong. I'm also of the mind everyone deserves a second chance if they're shown that they've Renette, like gotten better so so like let's say for the next year we see no more controversies i'm willing to go you know what like fuck you know what he fucked up it's whatever but it definitely stung me a bit, a bit to watch it. it stung me because i cared it stung me because i was he was the first athlete in a very long time where i was emotionally invested yeah. in the outcome of his fights man that Cerrone fight i was a nervous wreck all day like I couldn't, man. Some of those, some of the UFC fights, I can't go and watch at pubs and that because I, I'm too. I have to be home listening to the commentary. I can't be yeah. doing anything else. I have to be there, and I'm not like that with anything else. It's literally Neither. just yeah. that. Um, yeah. And and Origin and things like that. Like I like, you know, I'm a certain weird way about that as well. But yeah, I I, I understand where you're coming from with that, and I, I completely agree. But also, you know, rugby league fighters, rugby league players and fighters have a lot in common. A lot of them are psychos and there is a reason that they're in that sport, uh, combat sport. You know, they don't, they're not, they don't have the same wiring as you or I, you know. Absolutely. And, that's, and a, that's, a, that's a really good point that gets overlooked a lot, I reckon, is the fact yeah. that we need to remember it doesn't excuse what they do. It's not sitting there saying, no. oh, fuck, they can do whatever they want. But when crazy shit happens, remember, these are wild men. They're wild animals. Crazy. They're, they're yes. locked in a cage. They're going to do crazy things. And if they're doing crazy things in a cage, you know, McGregor knocking Aldo out in six seconds, then you know what? He might just throw a punch at an 80-year-old man in a pub. These things happen. These things <laughs> happen, can be. <laughs> Fucking hell. You can't, if you can't punch an old bloke in a bar, what is this world What can you to? do? What's wrong with the world? <laughs>